your new schedule. Great. What's your first class in the morning? I have math with Mr. Anderson at 8 o'clock. What time do you have lunch? At 12 noon. Really? Me too. Do you have history class in the morning or the afternoon? In the afternoon at 2.15. Oh, what about science? I have science at 9 o'clock. What's your last class? Art. Me too. Great. Oh no, that's the bell. We're late. What's the time? About 11.30. Really? I'm starving. Can I make myself some breakfast? Yes, of course you can. Help yourself. You know where everything is. Thanks. Is there anything else you need? Uh, well, all our clothes are absolutely filthy from all the travelling. May I use your washing machine? Actually, I was just going to put some washing in. But you can use it later if you like. Great, thanks. <laughs> so, what are your plans? Well, I need to look for a job, actually. We spent all our money on the India trip. Ah, oh, it's much colder here than in Delhi. Do you mind if I borrow a jumper? No, not at all. They're in the bottom drawer in our bedroom. Pick whichever one you like. Great, thanks a lot. Be back in a minute. Dad, I'm bored today. I want to go to a movie. A movie today? Well, I don't know. Here, let me look at the newspaper. Okay. Ah, uh, here's a movie that starts in the afternoon at 2.45. Well, should we take Mommy with us? Yeah. Okay, we have to wait for Mommy because she's at a meeting right now. Okay. All right, and what should we do after we see the movie? Go on a walk. Well, where would you like to go on a walk? Would you like to go down to the beach or through the park? To the beach. To the beach. Well, that sounds great. And then maybe we can go out to eat tonight. Does that sound okay? Yeah! There are a lot of things I will always remember, such as first day at primary school, holidays abroad and birthday parties. These special moments are all linked up with some celebrations or turning points in my life. Although, these experiences are nice and great to remember, I have realized there are some beautiful experiences gained not only through special occasions, but also through everyday life. Such an experience for me was a voluntary work. Last summer, during the vocations I was working as a volunteer in an elderly home for the aged people. After a conversation with a nurse and a social worker, I was told my job was to take them out for walks and read them newspapers and books. All that might sound a bit boring, but just after a few days it turned out to be quite different. The elderly people accepted me as if I was their friend. They have told me their life stories and achievement. They gave me many advice and warned me from dangers that youth can bring. I have learned so much from them. This was an interesting experience. I was taught about life a lot. And some of them who do not have many visitors I was the only one who they could talk to. I gave them feeling of care and support and they have showed me that with great appreciation. However, I found out that it was them and their gratitude what made me so happy. We've got a free morning tomorrow. What shall we do? Why don't we go on a tour? Mm, I prefer to explore things on my own. It's more fun and you get to meet local people. Maybe, but we haven't got much time. And a tour is a good way to see the sights quickly, don't you agree? Look, here's a leaflet for a city jogging tour. That sounds interesting. But the weather forecast isn't great, and I don't fancy running in the rain. OK, but I still think we should go on a tour. Look, here's another one. It's called East End Explorer, and there's a local person as the tour guide. So we would get to know local people? Yes, and you can go shopping too. OK, you've persuaded me. Let's book it. Great. You won't regret it. Do you have any openings today for an oil change? Yes, we have an opening at 5.30. Can you come back? That's my dinner time. Do you have anything earlier? Uh, we have 3.30 tomorrow afternoon. That works for me. How much do you charge? It's $49.95 for regular and $89.95 for deluxe. Okay, I'll take the regular. See you tomorrow. Now the general with the
Jian with the forecast for the country for tonight. The Meteorological Forecasting Division has forecast the weather to be partly to generally cloudy in Province 1 and Madhya's Province, along with the hilly region of the country, and it will be partly cloudy to mainly fair in the remaining parts of the country. Similarly, light rain with thunder and lightning are also likely to occur at a few places of Province 1, Madhya's Province, and at one or two places of the high hilly region of the rest of the provinces. Did you have a good time?